The dramatic sounds of Hiroshima Symphony No. 1, composed by a man dubbed Japan's Beethoven because he was totally deaf. The tragic story of a man who couldn't hear his own masterpiece touched many, but it was all a lie. It is indeed the case that I have deceived people, and for that I'm extremely sorry. Mamori Samura Gochi's apology comes a month after it emerged his famed musical compositions were written by a ghostwriter, and he wasn't completely deaf. He was altered by this man, Takeshi Nagaki, a music teacher who worked for nearly two decades composing in secret for him. Mr. Nagaki claimed his boss wasn't deaf and couldn't even write sheet music. The 50 year old who proved his sign language skills during the conference had long claimed that he'd lost his hearing when he was 35, but continued to compose music, apparently relying on his absolute pitch. He said that over the last three years his hearing had slowly been recovering, but he still has hearing problems. <laughs> It is very hard to explain my hearing problem. That is, I can hear from time to time, but sound gets distorted, so I cannot hear conversations most of the time. Since the scandal broke, he's been forced to hand his disability certificate back to officials. Nevertheless, CD sales of music bearing his name seem to have surged. Katerina Mo, BBC News.